Hi, Rob Lukey with Shop Prop Realty Monday market update. If you go back and you look at our January updates and our other updates from Monday, you'll notice that in January we were talking about a potential slowdown in the market. That as we approach the later part of the first half of the year, you know, the May time frame, that you would get this slowdown occur. And you might even see that carry over into the second half of the year. One of the things that we saw and one of the reasons why we talked about this early is that the market had that short term peak. This was in December. So a lot of people were talking about the market peaking in April. That was the real estate market. But we saw some moves in the major indices. This was the S&P 500 real estate peak here uh, in December, a short term peak. I obviously believe in the long term market and so forth but short-term peak was here and also the s p 500 peaked as well had a short-term peak in january so we had those things occurring with the anticipation of the fed raising interest rates which that's what it did so we had a bunch of the reason why the real estate market as a whole didn't peak until april is because you had all these buyers trying to buy getting a low interest rate locking that in before the Fed raised. And obviously, the even with the talk of the Fed raising, interest rates will continue to move up, right? Even if even we're just discussing about we're raising interest rate, you'll see the interest rates move up on the 30-year mortgages and even the arms and so forth. But bottom line is, is that we saw this market peak in here. Uh, if you look at this, and this is the S&P 500 equities markets, this is May 12th. We hit a low of 39.30 on the S&P 500. We had one more little low at 3,900, but 39.30, May 12th, if you go to any of the places that I post, you'll see that I said, I think it's time to start buying the market with the idea that inflation will start to be curbed over the next few months. And we'll have better numbers coming in. On Friday, we got some better numbers, and we obviously had Goldman Sachs come out on Friday, May 27th. Hey, it looks like uh, inflation is starting to peak. Again, we saw we looked at that a few weeks back, but some good numbers came in. So we'll see over the next period of time. But overall, for buyers, we're, the beautiful part about the market right now, and I'm talking about the real estate market, is, is that it's a lot more balanced. Buyers are able to find some good purchases. And sellers, the market is still strong enough that if we have a good product that we're priced right, we're still selling at very good prices in relationship to historically. So overall, the market's good for both buyers and sellers, more balanced market. Remember, go to shopprop.com. Uh, you can sell, you can list for free in the MLS, don't have to offer or a buyer's agent commission. So you can literally list for free in the MLS if you wish. Uh, if you want to only interact with our artificial intelligence, you can do that by logging in and going through the dashboard. Or you can get full service and we'll provide full service with you with shop, for shop prop and do everything for you uh, all the way through and handle everything for you from a full service capacity. And we charge a flat rate of one thousand nine hundred and ninety five for homes under five hundred thousand for homes over five hundred thousand. We charge two thousand nine hundred and ninety five. So zero uh, to as high as two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. It from on the buy side, it sickens me to see that buyers are still out there not capturing the two and a half to three percent commission that is typically offered to the buyer's agent. Your buyer's agent is being paid two and a half to three percent on every million dollars of of real estate you purchase. Think about that. That's twenty five to thirty thousand dollars for every million dollars. If you're buying a million dollar home. With shop prop, you could be putting back in your pocket somewhere between $22,005 minimum to even a maximum of $27,005. If you're buying a $2 million property, $3 million property, extrapolate the numbers to see how much you can sell. We uh, Save, sorry. We just had a client buy a $5 million property and they got back $162,005 in commissions that normally would have been paid to an agent. You can pay your agent whatever you want. It's completely up to you. But it's there's an option now to not have to give up that much equity when you're buying or when you're selling. Feel free to reach out to us seven days a week. Thank you for listening.